She relies on her life alert system in case of an emergency. And after suffering a couple of minor heart attacks, it's even more critical for one of our viewers. But when she moved a few weeks ago, a billing dispute kept her from getting her system connected. She told 2 News problem solver Pete Knutson that she needed help before her next emergency. Hello. Nadine moved into this rental house with her son a couple of months ago. And it'll be Saturday before they'll let me know anything. She has cell service, but Nadine oh, also I... needs a landline to connect her life alert service. Well, I'm here all by myself through the day, and I fall a lot. And if I fall, it may be that afternoon, like that afternoon or, you know, later that night before anybody ever finds me. But after moving into her new home, Nadine says she hasn't been able to get her landline because of an unpaid bill that wasn't hers. Nadine says AT&T told her the previous renter didn't pay the bill, someone Nadine doesn't even know. They said, well, you have to have the um, landlord call them and tell them that the other people had moved out. Nadine says the landlord made that call, but still, the line wasn't released. Well, it was scary. Just damn not scary. So Nadine finally called the two news problem solvers, and we got in touch with the phone company. A representative quickly researched the situation, and it wasn't long until the phone line was released, and Nadine was able to hook up her life alert service. Yes, it's a relief. Knowing she has that lifeline the next time she needs it. Pete Knutson, two news works for you. Now, most utility companies have a policy that will hold you responsible for past bills if you have some relationship with the last customer. So keep that in mind.